There are people in America right now where there's a protocol developed for giving thymosin alpha-1 in an aggressive program to folks in the ICU, and, I, and they're getting folks off the ventilators within a day. Within a day. Now, it's also with other things, but thymosin alpha-1 basically is the peptide that teaches your immune system to get up and get and fight viral infections. So it's an effective tool to possibly treat this COVID pandemic that we're having. Now, has that gone through randomized placebo control trials? Not yet, but I know somebody in town right here in Milwaukee who's given it to a person who was getting a fever, getting short of breath on the verge of going to the hospital, started on it, and five days later went back to work because she felt so well. No, that's not, that's an anecdote of one. I have one person right now in my practice who've been on it, but I'm advising everybody in my practice to stock up and get some thymosin alpha one because as soon as this gets well known, it'll be the next toilet paper, it'll disappear. Yeah, and okay, so it begs the question, two questions. Maybe number one is, where do you get it? Right, now here's so, the, here's what's happened. Seven or eight years ago, this whole idea of peptides has burst on the scene because the science has been going on for 30 or 40 years. But it used to cost a quarter million dollars to make five milligrams so somebody could get a PhD thesis. And they did, and they published it 20 years ago. So a lot of basic knowledge out there. Five or six years ago, or about 10 years ago, suddenly bursting on the scene is the ability to manufacture peptides in a machine that's much cheaper. Now we can assemble those pop beads much faster. And what used to cost a quarter million dollars now costs 50 bucks or 100 bucks. So you can now buy thymosin alpha-1 from peptide manufacturing houses. And as long as it's pharmaceutical grade, physicians can prescribe it. So there are three pharmacies in America, or actually there's four, five now, who've made the commitment that they will sell pharmaceutical grade product peptides to doctors and i'm allowed to write it by common law as long as it's safe no danger to the public and not provided by the traditional healthcare system so thymosin alpha one is available through a doctor now it costs about 150 bucks for what you traditionally use maybe as a one month supply i'm personally taking thymosin alpha one as a foundational thing for part of my anti-aging program. So I take 0.15 cc's. It comes by a shot. You have to give yourself a shot. You have to pinch an inch on your tummy and it's with, with a little 31 gauge insulin needle. It's a tiny little needle. You, you don't even feel it. But I give myself 0.15 milligrams a day. But if you come to me and you've got a fever of 102 and your O2 sat is 82, I'm going to give you three times that four times a day until you're better. So I'm going to basically 12 times dose. I'm going to give you a 12 times dose for three or four days until your immune system, because when the virus is invading you, there is an absolute pell-mell rush to who gets there first. Does your immune system win or does the virus multiply? And so which, is, which of those two are going to win the battle? And if you can goose up your immune system and get there first, then you hold the virus down and you win. And what COVID is able to do, COVID has eight proteins on it that are all very skillful at inhibiting your immune response. And we now know exactly where that's happening. The science is rushing forward and describing that. We can tell you the genes that are being turned on and turned off. The COVID is skillful at circumventing the immune system. Well, we can be skillful at boosting it back up again. So thymosin alpha-1 is a peptide. It's now being manufactured relatively inexpensively. A uh, protocol that's now been designed by the Ameri uh, sort of our be most regarded peptide society wants you to use about five, five between five hundred and a thousand dollars of it, but that's chump change. Ten one day in the ICU is fifteen thousand, so you know a thousand dollars worth of peptide, which is now available by prescription. You have to be taught how to inject it and how to make the dose of it, and then there's other things that support it. But that's a foundational thing. So there's one example of a functional medicine idea that actually works to prevent aging, 
So as we're aging, we're getting in trouble because we don't have a robust immune response to viruses and cancers, which you can take as an anti-aging program, but you can also use as a, a therapeutic, just like traditional medicine, use as an innovative, up-to-date therapy that's actually, you used to make it. We're just giving you back what you used to have. Well, and, and that's what I guess in, in my layperson's view of what you're describing right now, what I, what I think I hear, what I think I understand is that you're talking about injecting something that is working in symphony with your natural system and kind of jumpstarting it or enhancing it rather than an external. Not in, it's not even that. It's you okay. used to make it. Yeah. But you don't anymore. As but, you age... By age 20, you don't have any. And so your immune system is sort of running on memory cells and coasting and degrading. And what we're doing is we're saying, no, 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 no. We're not going to do this degradation stuff anymore. Yeah. Let's boost you back up again and we re-wake up. Wake up those genes yeah. that have been quiescent and get them get back into function.